Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on how to calculate Chromebooks Alpha. I'll also be showing you how to interpret Chromebooks Alpha. So let's start with a data set in SPSS. And Chromebooks Alpha is a test of reliability of a scale. So I have here 50 cases or 50 participants and 10 individual items that they responded to. And these are in a Likert scale. So they're, they're one through five. So five possible responses. And these variables, item one, item two, item three, represent the actual responses given by the participant. So on item one, for participant one, the response was three, and item two is three, and so on. Chromebooks Alpha is a popular method to determine reliability when working with Likert scales, which is why I selected a Likert scale for this example. So as you can see, uh, these are not scales. All 10 items taken together uh, would be a scale. So items 1 through 10 uh, represent a scale, or sometimes called a subscale, of an instrument. Chromebooks Alpha does not work to determine the reliability of just one item. You have to have a series of items. In this case, we have 10. Now, looking at the variable view, you can see these are loaded as ordinal. And I know there's differing opinions regarding a Likert scale. Uh, is it scale? Uh, like this, or is it ordinal? Uh, I'm going to be a little more conservative for this demonstration and assume that uh, Likert scale is ordinal, uh, but I'm aware that, of course, uh, many people will believe that you can also use it as scale. I believe that is true in certain circumstances, but let's just going to set that at ordinal. Of course, the case number is nominal. So to analyze this, uh, to, to determine Chromebooks Alpha, you go to Analyze, then to Scale, then Reliability Analysis. Now I already have this populated, so I'm going to return this back to default. So this is what it looks like by default, and the statistics, nothing would be checked off. This is how it would look. So uh, what you want to have over here, of course, is your items. So uh, select All, and then just subtract Case. And you can move them over one shot. You can see you have all 10. We leave it uh, alpha, looking for Chromebooks alpha. And the statistics, I like to run the uh, descriptors for the item scale and the scale item if, if deleted, which is a very interesting um, output. And then uh, correlations. Hit continue. And OK. And let's take a look at the results. You can see we have 50 cases and uh, no missing values. The Chromebooks alpha is at point Six, zero six. All right, so that would be 0.7 is generally considered good. 0.6 would be considered questionable. So let's take a look at the different uh, means. You can see that the means and the standard deviations are all fairly close, except for item 7 and item 10. They have a higher mean and a higher standard deviation. And we can see the inter-item correlation matrix, which is pretty straightforward. And then we have the item total statistics. And I want to draw attention in particular to the alpha if an item is deleted. So what this does is it tells you if you delete a particular item, how does it affect the reliability of your scale? Now we know that it's 0.6 right now. So uh, if you delete item 1, that would decrease it. Item 2 would decrease it. Matter of fact, all these items would decrease it, except for item 10, which would actually increase it uh, to 0 0.698, which is almost at good. It's very close, 0 0.698. So what's, uh, you know, this would be as if we were building this instrument, right? So let's take the data we just uh, or the results we just looked at from the output window and apply it. 
So we'll analyze and go to scale, reliability analysis. Now let's take out item 10. Now we kind of know it's going to happen, right? Because it told us. You can see it boosted Chromebooks Alpha uh, to, to just about an acceptable level. And now let's look and see if anything else can push it higher. And of course now we see item 7 stands out at 0.76, which would definitely be a good Chromebooks Alpha. Um, all these others are of course lower. Uh, items 1 through 6 and item uh, items 8 and 9 would give us a lower Chromebooks Alpha, right? lower reliability. So we'll go back, analyze again, and this time we'll remove item 7. We can see now Chromebooks Alpha has increased to 0.76 using just 8 of the 10 items. That's important. These are the 10 items. Uh, item 10, item 7, uh, notably missing. And our Chromebooks Alpha is 0.76. And you can see that item 1 being deleted now would move it up a little bit. but um, And of course item 9 a little bit. But that's not, that's not really something that... Uh, is a, is a huge increase. So I think if you're looking for a um, good uh, reliability coefficient, uh, the items to retain here would be uh, 1 through 6 and, and 8 and 9. And that's how we use, uh, that's how we interpret Chromebook Alpha, and that's how we use it to decide which items uh, potentially to delete to increase the overall reliability of an instrument. So as you can see, Chromebooks Alpha is a useful statistic to calculate, but I do want to uh, provide you with a few cautions about its use. Uh, the first is that uh, all other uh, factors being held constant, you'll get a higher Chromebooks Alpha if your data is normally distributed than if it's positively or negatively skewed. Also, if you have a high Chromebooks Alpha, for example, say a 0.95, that doesn't indicate that there is one dimension, uh, one construct. Uh, to, in order to determine how many constructs there are in an instrument, you'd have to use a factor analysis. Uh, Chromebooks Alpha is simply a measurement of internal consistency, of reliability. It is not an indicator of how many constructs are being measured by the scale. I hope you found this uh, video helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.